So the question is, that I want to next to come to, does the valuation function, and I should have an underscore for the X to indicate that it's a vector, does it mean apply to groups? And um, the basic issue is, does all, do all members of the group have the same sets of preferences? Well, that's not excluded, but in general, shareholder, uh, any groups are composed of stakeholders with different interests, like investors, managers, uh, investors want the most return from it. The managers want more power and glory um, for themselves. The users want a good product. The workers want uh, uh, better working conditions and less work, whatever, uh, less uh, effort perhaps. And their, in, their collective interest almost certainly degree. So uh, we can't expect them to agree. That is the point. So let's now look at this simple uh, uh, example I have. So I think what I have there is that we have three prospective voters, Tom, Diana, and Harriet. And Tom is a uh, very much on the left. He's a Sanders fan, if you want to think of it that way. Uh, the further to the right you are, uh, the less he likes you. Diana, on the, on the other hand, is a center of the road kind of person, uh, doesn't like the extremes. If they, uh, she might be more conservative than uh, towards the left. And Harriet is uh, completely uh, conservative. I won't characterize that particularly, but um, she um, doesn't like wishy-washy people in the middle. So she's either a le right or left, but not anybody in the middle. I'm not going to draw any comparisons with anybody currently in the election. But now I'm going to ask you, who wins the election? And I'm going to think of it in terms of uh, these voters and the candidates that are done. And let me suppose the candidates are either, either left, center, or right. So I'm going to ask you, so if left, uh, there's a left candidate against a center, who wins? the center against the right, who wins? And finally, if it's a left against the right. So the point is, I'm going to close it myself because you see that left beats center, center beats uh, right. So if it was transitive, left would beat center, would beat right. But in fact, if you structure, if you pull it out, it is not a transitive, which is the whole point of it as a simple example of something that is not transitive. And the answer is that you have an intransitive situation. That is because of the structure, the detailed structure of people's preferences, that they're not ranking them in the same order, uh, you can construct a uh, intransitive uh, solution very uh, trivially. And it's simply to show that because of people have, trans have, have different rankings of the particular things, uh, whether it's food they eat or people they vote for or where they like to spend their holidays or whatever, it's very easy to set up an intransitive situation. The bottom line is because of this feature that uh, you simply do not have a, um, the basis for a value function for groups. It is, it is, you can go through the math and say, we're going to weight people this way or that way and we'll come to some solution and uh, some people have more, you know, are more important, are more persuasive than others, but to think about being able to have a unique valuation function that you could optimize is a pipe dream. So um, uh, it is in some ways that uh, you, you can agree um, uh, to have a voting system which people will agree upon, but it will not satisfy everybody and it will be, leave some people unhappy as uh, we regularly see in elections. So the concept of best is not meaningful for the design of complex systems. That's where this whole thing has been going. But we can uh, agree to some process where we can identify a preferred one, but from a mathematical optimization point of view, the idea that we can run a, a and we a metric and have the optimal solution is only meaningful when we can have a single objective function or 
or a combination where everything can be put on the same value, such as money. Uh, otherwise, we are necessarily talking about a preferred solution. And that's where this, the basis for the next uh, issues here. 